Yo, what's up guys? We're back with more Big Ball fans. But before we go into the video, I'm here with A to the K to the Mara. Quinty the use the Inti. Yes, sir. AK. Quinty. Yeah, guys, welcome back no, to no, our I, I'm channel. not Quinty. I'm not Quinty. I'm AK. I'm Quincy. He's She's... Quincy. Yeah. <laughs> So guys, welcome back to our channel. Please sub to the channel for more billboard and the like the video. Yes, and uh, we hope that our video is gonna laugh. It's gonna make you laugh. Yeah, it's gonna be funny <laughs> to you. Uh, yeah, let's get today. We react to billboard motherhood isn't the hardest job. Motherhood, what does it mean? Being a mother is not the hardest job. Motherhood means being a mother. Being a mother. Being a mother. Okay. Yeah, yeah like brotherhood, being my brother. Okay, okay. Fatherhood being a father. So motherhood is not the hardest job. Isn't the hardest job. Yeah, it's not the most difficult job. That's what he's saying. At least wait to see what he I says. I even didn't start I even haven't started to watch the video but I already don't like the topic. What if what he says is gonna be right? I've never seen it, but at least mm. yeah it out first. Okay. Calm down. <laughs> Let's get it. How are you? Fantastic. The other day I got in an argument with my girlfriend. She likes watching the Oprah Winfrey show, and I love to watch her watch the Oprah show. And then I wait for Oprah to say something that I don't agree with, and then I take it out of my girlfriend, because I'm an asshole. I'm what? So I'm an asshole. Asshole. Yeah. She, dickhead. Like, I'm a bad person. I'm a bad guy. Okay, okay. Yeah. <coughs> And then I take it out on my girlfriend because I'm an asshole. So, Oprah brings out this guest. She gives her this huge intro. She's been on this. She's been on that. And she does the most difficult job on the planet. She's the mother. So immediately I look at my girlfriend. I'm like, really? Being a mom is the most difficult job on the planet? How many mothers died on ice road truckers last season? I sure Any moms get washed overboard on deadliest catch? I'm not trying oh, to wait. be disrespectful. Wait, are this are this American shows deadliest catch? I don't get this reference. I'm not trying. Oh, to... But what you rather have is a job? You want to scoop scallops off the bottom of the ocean, catching that lobster trap to the back of your head? Or do you want to hang in the sunshine with a couple of rugrats? You'd send them to bed anytime you want in some trumped up charges. Because you want to have a drink and watch the prices, right? <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe it is the most difficult job. Yes, you are. I mean, I thought roofing in the middle of July is a redhead, you know? I thought that that was a difficult job. I really did. I thought it was difficult. But evidently, evidently, these mothers, they're bending over at the waist, putting DVDs into DVD mm. players. Going to war, pinned down by a sniper. What a joke! <laughs> you have a burp a baby and forget to put that towel up there? There's another shirt you gotta wash. Oh, lift with your knees! And put it in that machine that does it for you. Dude, any job you can do in your pajamas is not difficult. No. It isn't. I'm sure it's... Oh. You know these mothers. <laughs> Watching cartoons, taking naps. Excuse I'm messing around, me. but you know, come on. Okay, what do you have to I say? I know. Excuse me. He said me. I'm messing around, though. <laughs> like, he thinks that being a mother is just uh, the mother doing the things that he's telling. What about the girl, gr like, growing, the, growing up the children? Raising the ch children. Yeah, raising the children. Mm -hmm. What about the cook? Like, you know, you know what? You know one. what? I didn't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> it was being bored, I said. No, it's gonna be. Oh my god, this video is gonna be so long, guys, because I'm so fucking mad. First of all, okay. <laughs> put in mind. They're I not didn't... paying. They're not paying for raising the children. Who is, first not, of who is all. not paying? No one. For example, you're working, right? Mm -hmm. You're working 12 hours, you're working 8 hours, but they're paying for you that you're working like like 8 hours, 12 hours. But when you are mother, they're not paying you, first of all. Mm -hmm. uh, you're doing everything for free. Mm -hmm. uh, you are 24-7 at home. 24-7? Yep. How would you? Isn't it? Isn't 
using it. I mean, if you're 24 7 at home, that means the dad is providing, right? It's gotta be. If you're gonna be at home 24 7, that means the dad is providing. Providing? What does it mean? Providing, like giving the money to raise the kids, walking his ass off, right? Yeah, but what, what do you expect to do? Like, of course, if the mom, every like 24 7 at home, that means the dad is being the provider is right yeah, I know. yeah. Mm. okay but i don't know would you want to be a 24 7 mother no a stay at home mother no. but you rather work on a career right like you, even if you're gonna work you're gonna be like with your children before you raise like three years you know decret yeah i get that what you're saying like yeah. you gotta stay off the job to raise the kids first. yeah but I feel like me as a dad, I would rather want to like raise my kids with, I wouldn't want to leave it to the mother just to raise the kids yeah. alone, you know. Yeah. That makes more sense in this society. It's not so much men can so, understand it, you know. So that means being a mother and being a father is the hardest job. Being a parent is the one of the hardest jobs. Hmm. Mm. But he's just saying about the mother and the mother is, is isn't the hardest job. Like it's the... Other things that if dad gonna help, mm -hmm. like if the husband are gonna help to his wife mm -hmm. to raise the children, it's totally different, you know. But when it's just mother and then like that, every time is working, it's too hard for women to raise the ch ch children. Right, let's see everything he says first, though. Then we're gonna say everything. No. <coughs> <laughs> Look, I'm messing around, but you know, come on. I know it's a difficult job, but the most difficult job on the whole planet. Remember when Saddam let the oil fields on fire and those poor bastards had to go put them out? <laughs> 4,000 degrees, walking wow. in with your little asbestos shield, just walking in the flames. <laughs> you want to do that or watch Bob the Builder again? I mean, be honest with yourself. <laughs> recently I did I went down to the pound I got one of those free dogs yeah that's how I say it I don't say I rescued a dog I hate when people say that it's like totally obnoxious it's complete exaggeration she's a rescue yeah I rescued her really did you pull her out of a burning building did you jump in a river with your clothes still on with no concern for your own safety or did you just go down to the pound and get a free dog? Isn't that what you did? <laughs> like you had to take out a couple of cards, <coughs> crawl in on your elbows, using hand signals. Dude, you ever go down to the pound and they're just giving them away? They don't even do a background check. You want them? Hey, get out of here. <laughs> Who's next? You want a poodle? Come on, you got a perm. It'll be hilarious. <laughs> Actually, my, uh, my girlfriend got the dog when I, was, uh, when I was on the road. I was on the road, she got the dog. Classic girlfriend move, right? That's just a 10 to 15 year commitment. Why would you include me in that decision? <laughs> what would I need to know? So we're Skyping, I thought she got one of those little shit dogs, you know? Like a Yorkshire Terrier or something you could punch across the room if it got out of line, right? <laughs> <laughs> something you could take your day out on, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> So we're Skyping, I go, let me see it. So she pans around, and I think I'm gonna see, you know, some little, little ch chihuahua, whatever the hell those dogs are. I'm, I'm immediately staring at like this hellhound. This just massive dog, and it looks, I start freaking out. I'm like, is that a pit bull? Please tell me you didn't get a pit bull. She's like, it's not a pit bull, it's a mix. <laughs> mix with what, another pit bull? Look at that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Just rescue an alligator while you're at it. Stick it under the bed. Add to the excitement. You know what an alligator is? Like a yeah. crocodile. 
Oh, okay. So it's like since you're rescuing this kind of dangerous dog, why don't you just rescue another crocodile mm, and put okay, it under okay. the bed? <laughs> you know, it's great though. I fell in love with the dog. Oh. Absolutely love this dog, and I'm totally sold on the breed. And I know a lot of people don't like pit bulls because they ate a couple of kids. I understand that. <laughs> I'm telling you, you owe it to yourself at some point in your life to walk down the street with a pit bull. You gotta do it. It's tremendous. People just get out of the way. <laughs> that's you true. No, nah, that's true. When I see someone walking with a pit bull, uh -huh. you know what? The, the, yeah, 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 I know. I, I, I leave the way. I'm not Why? like you. Because it looks so fucking scary. No, but they're so cute. Pit bulls are, yes. not, are not cute. No, they're cute. Pit bulls are fucking scary. No. And you, you are a weirdo to think they are cute. How would you say... People they are that. so cute. Like I can understand they look like scary and they look so big, but no, they are scary. They're not scary. They don't look scary. They are scary. They, they are, are scary. They, just they are scary. intimidating. No. Jesus Christ! You see, that's what he said. People get out of the way. They see me coming. They immediately start crossing the street. <coughs> I love it. I feel like a king. Yeah. I don't know why black people complain about that. I love having the whole side of the street to myself. It's awesome. Oh! I didn't get. Can you explain to me? You know, he said when he's walking. Uh huh. With the pit bull. With the pit bull. People leave the streets. Okay. People are scared of him. So now he's saying, why are black people complaining of people running from them? Be bored, seriously? <laughs> Let me get that again so you understand. I don't know why black people complain about that. I love having the whole side of the street to myself. It's awesome. Oh, yeah, out of People have no idea how difficult it is as a white man to have to walk down the street every half a block, have frivolous conversations about the weather. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking it's gonna rain. Why? Why do we have to have this conversation? <laughs> no, it's tremendous. I like the respect. Look at me. My whole life I've looked like Ron Howard. You realize that? <laughs> yeah. I always have been mugged repeatedly. I've never had any street cred whatsoever. The second they see this four-legged P90X body coming down the street, that's it. It's the best dog on the planet. You gotta get a pit bull. Yeah. I'm telling you, man, it's like a gun you can pet. <laughs> it's like it's a gun. Come down, you're just strapped. All of a sudden, there's no line at the ATM. You're like, it's like the whole world opens up for you. <laughs> All right, let's wrap this up here. I uh. I had lunch the other day. Uh, I'm a big time conspiracy theorist. I drive my girlfriend nuts. You know what conspiracy you know? theorists mean? No, it doesn't. Like me. Like when I tell you, um, I feel like uh, people come back to life after they die. Mm. It's like a conspiracy. Okay. So like people will come up with conspiracy. Something that doesn't look real, but you know. Okay. So it's like. Girlfriend nuts you, what does it mean? I drive my, when you say it's like a, I drive my girlfriend nuts. I make her mad. Okay. Yeah, that's what it means. You know, I think they're about to microchip all of us. Yeah, they got this commercial down in the States, you know. They, you got that commercial up here for Duracell Come batteries. Commercial advertisement. They're selling batteries, and the commercial is some woman can't find her kid in the park. That's how they're selling batteries. Wait, wait, what did you say? Okay, wait, let me get that again. You, know, they, you got that commercial up here for Duracell batteries. Duracell batteries, you know, Duracell batteries mm. for remotes. Uh, okay, yeah. Those, yeah, Duracell batteries. They're selling batteries, and the commercial is some woman can't find her kid in the park. That's how they're selling batteries. The hell kind of way is that to sell batteries? Do you remember the old commercials? They just show some guy in a rainstorm, has a flat, pulls out a flashlight. Oh, they're going to have Duracell. <laughs> you see a widow getting. That was it. Now they're showing this woman she can't find her kid in the park. She's in there going, Kevin? Kevin? <laughs> Has anybody seen Kevin? <laughs> Sitting there freaking out, then she pulls out this little device. Bip, 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 and then comes Kevin running out of the woods. And they're like, Duracell batteries. <laughs> it's like, dude, the hell with the batteries? What was that thing she just took out of her pocket? <laughs> How did Kevin know to come out of the woods? Hmm. He didn't have an antenna. His sneakers weren't glowing. What the hell is in Kevin that's connected to that device? Don't just show me that like that's normal. Oh, yeah, robot kid. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm guessing the mother who did in the added was his first like joke. Yeah. Then the second one was the pit bull and the third one was And the text good I already told everything about uh, what I'm thinking about the, the mother Yeah.
drink water. Deep breaths. One, two, three. Right, what you but think? it was actually so rude when he told about the black man. <laughs> nah, it's funny really? though. It's funny. It's, it's fucking funny. funny. It's hilarious as fuck. Cause it's jokes, yeah. I love it. Mm. Yeah. Cause you know the thing here yeah, is, for me to get mad at the does joke. Does he have? Um, does he have a children? Or does child? he have kids? Guys, does he have kids? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Because. If he doesn't have kids, probably that's why he's telling that motherhood is not like the hardest job. If he has... If he has kids, it could be the one taking care of them as well. And he has other jobs, with, with like a hard dad and raising kids, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. But it's his opinion. Like, in some way, like, I just didn't like it and I told my opinion. And... Uh, that's all right. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, catch you on the next one. That's Big Ball. Motherhood isn't the hardest job. Tell us more things you want us to see on the channel, and we're more than happy to see you. And you see you next time, guys. Bye. Bye.